now with the movie, and this is kind of interesting, everything is more explicit. It's basically taking out the existentialism and all the other ideas that they paraphrase and put into this weird amalgamation of different viewpoints. And they just got rid of that mind frame and they just started switching to actually showing what was fucking happening because the budget was there for the movie. They had to cut off from a lot of different projects they were working on to make that movie to compensate for all that bullshit they made the year prior. So now we get to see what really is happening. And this is where in the comment section, this is the funniest comment. Basically someone says that everyone's turning into semen. Actually, that was on a blog, and I kind of thought that was a little dumb. Like, when I think about jizz, I don't think orange, what, or is something, me like, medically wrong with you if, I, I thought that it looked like tank, what everyone becomes due to a little of doing that anti-A field thing that turns everyone into primordial soil or soup. So everyone's, like, soup and away which yeah that's kind of weird but that is what happens in a way it's almost like reverse it's almost like if there was antinatalism this would be where dialectical materialism would say okay this is the next step before that the whole world going extinct? Nah, this time the whole world is turning into this homogeneous sludge. Because that's a step below, maybe above. Turning everything into a homogeneous sludge instead of just making everything extinct. Because at least with homogeneous, at least with extinction, you wouldn't see how weird it gets homogeneous dream sludge shit where everyone's the consistency of soup and together we're no longer I mean we don't call things waters or soups we don't identify the droplets because once it gets to that liquid consistency it's so homogeneous we just identify it as essentially a collective singular so we just we just call that life, not the individual lives, but the life form sludge. Yeah, nature. It's weird, very weird. Moreover, I want to. Now, what do I think about this? What what can I make out of? I have just well because Shinji rejects instrumentality. Basically Lilith the Lilith clone within the Ava Unit One pulls out the sword that was or the lance that was within it and that kinda of breaks everything and that kills the Ray Lilith hybrid thing. And because of that, everybody fuck, everybody, anybody can escape now. So, Asuka and Shinji are the first to escape. And what does Shinji do? Well, Shinji chokes Asuka a little to see if she's alive. And then, he cries a little and she's like, that's disgusting. Well, she touches him lightly before she says that, but that's essentially the ending we receive. A lot of people are going to be satisfied with this ending, and I think of it as a non-ending, because, yeah, you got a little, you got the illusion of a resolution. And besides all those lights and deaths, it's not a real climax. You're not really introduced to a legitimate climax. It's more of this cryptic short film of animation and creativity, in a way... You could, you could say that this would be brilliant in that sense, but to wrap up a series, 
that's a giant non-ending, because if anybody can leave, then did anything legitimately happen? No, nothing really happened. It just turned into, I guess you can say, what? If a leftist would see this, they would say, okay, maybe progress happened. But no, nothing legitimately happened or changed. You just made a giant mess out of things. That's, that's not an ending. That'd be like if I made a movie where I spilled a glass of milk and made a mess. And I said, oh, well, somebody's going to clean that up. And then w wipe some of the, fix some of my pants, but never bothered to fix the table. That, that's not an ending. That's not a legit resolution. That's not any character development that comes from that. I mean, I guess there's something I'm not seeing here, but what can we as thinkers of the right obtain from an ending like this? What can we infer? Well, first and foremost, we can infer... I'm just going to start pulling shit on my ass right now. We can infer that... Shit happens. First and foremost, we got we got to start realizing shit's going to happen. And... As this world gets more and more deranged, we're going to see more and more of these postmodern fantasies become more mainstream. I mean, a lot of things that we think, oh, they're too radical to be implemented. It's not that radical. What you see is crazy now, might not be the crazy thing 20 years from now or even 30 years from now even four years from now seeing how our ideas are moving at an exponential rate due to progressive nonsense that you might start to see that stuff like this could be a normal mentality that we shall become this homogeneous slob of soup it's possible I mean, with the way we're so sexually deviant and sort of degraded, I don't see how that could be strange. I mean, we're almost, with all these globalist wank fantasies, we're almost starting to act like we can all become some sort of homogeneous blob of s disgusting soup possible. I mean, egalitarianism is just one mode of saying, all right, let's just make ourselves all equal now. And what's the final step to all of this? So all turning us into a homogeneous soup. And yeah, that's the final step in the evolution of all life. It's in the within the realms of possibility in some way, shape, or form. I mean, maybe it's not as dark as saying human extinction, but it's somewhere within that route. It's somewhere within that meme of thinking. And in a way... I've sort of thought of things like this, like back when I was an anarcho-traditionalist, I started like envisioning what would be the next steps in progressivist thought, and one thing I thought of was, all right, let's make life into some sort of homogeneous thing, like, and instead of what it really is, and it's like a heterogeneous thing, and really homogeneity is a good thing it is in a way but homogeneity is something that we should look at in the realism of the fact that nobody is equal that's a wink fantasy 
and that we're all trying to do things to hack or bypass this inequality. That's why we have racial nationalists, because racial nationalists, or maybe even religious thinkers, because that could also deal with ethnicity. In some places, ethnicity is also conflicted. In my, around my city, around the 70s and 80s, people started fighting between Dominicans and Puerto Ricans around Manhattan, the Bronx, because... Yeah, those are different ethnicities within the same race. But those are different things. They're not the same. They're they're not equal. And there are logical ways to implement some homogeneity and some heterogeneity. You can segregate the people or but if within the context of the United States what segregation did was it basically created black America, which isn't the best route to go with. What would have been better, in my opinion, was if they went the route of saying that, well, this is a white nation, this is white America, but it needs, it could use the help of other people to build it up. If you decide to live here, then that's what you're going to do. And if you don't like it, you can leave it. Yeah, that love it or leave it begs the question, though. So you can throw that fallacy at me, but if this is a Christian nation and you're not a Christian nation, well, you don't have to be Christian, but you can build up our Christianity. You can expand it. You can grow it. And that way, there is some, there will be some conflict. But again, this is another thought of mine. Heterogeneity. And it works for slavery, actually. When we had slaves of different races, we had different groups that were in that little slave and master dichotomy, and it was essentially building a white nation. A lot of people say, well, Slavery isn't a race issue, but it could be seen as one. It could be taken as one. So. The point is that we want to stick to making people the same in a smaller scale. We want to understand not just. I'm not, I'm not making people the same, but. We need to realize that people are uniform and different at the same time. If we hold on to the same ideas, in some ways we do have similarities, but we're so different. That's what I'm trying to go for. And making people the same by... And getting rid of that sort of conflict by... Turning people into homogeneous soup isn't essentially the best mode of action. But just because it sucks doesn't mean it's not within the realm of possibilities. There's always going to be one group of people that's going to think like that. Let's turn everyone into the same sludge. Mix them up until they're practically nothing. So that's what I think. This is Mr. Wonka7 and... Suck the juicy dick.